Okay, I'll make the video, jeez. So you guys requested a settings video. It broke 28,000 views. Now I'm going to show you guys my class setup, how to get the double tundra, and I'm also going to show you guys how to snipe. So the secret in sniping, right, this is the real secret, is tapping the left trigger. This is what makes it look so much quicker than it is. Like, I'm already aiming down sight. Even when I'm sprinting, I'm still aiming down sight. Like, I am always tapping the trigger. Like, my aim down sight speed is so much better because I'm pre-aiming around corners. Sometimes I don't make it look as obvious as I should, but even when I'm sprinting, I'm still pushing it. So when you see me sprinting, this is me sprinting, this is me tapping, you can see me like inch walking. You guys need to learn to aim down, like you always need to be on the ready, like, always on the ready. I mean, obviously I'm pretty good, so it's a lot of practice that I've had. The only thing you need to be doing this movement is when you know there's enemies nearby or you think there's enemies nearby. Search and Destroy is a really good game mode for tapping the left trigger or whatever trigger it is for you to aim down sight. Most important thing is your crosshair placement. What you need to remember is the shortest distance to a target is the best for you. So your crosshairs should always be centered to where the enemy's chest is. So my crosshair is always centered, always centered, always centered. Even down here when I'm at an awkward angle, my crosshair is not like up here looking over here. It's down below because it's where the enemies will be. So you need to center your crosshair. So down below, centered. Down below, centered. Quick scope. Another example of centering is like here. Like right here, my crosshair placement. This looks really bad, right? However, I can get that head glitch. I can get the head glitch where people normally go there. I can jump and kill the guy hiding behind there. I can jump and get the arch. I can jump and get there. I can jump and get him, I can go here, it's just positioning at all times. You always need to be aware of your surroundings, your positioning, you need to remember like here, I can jump shot him, I can abuse that head glitch and jump shot him. Your surroundings are what's most important. The biggest thing you guys will see just from watching me is my movement. I am always on the move, I am always sliding, I am always running, I am always jump shotting. It's just your movement. Your movement is so crucial in this game, especially when there's so many head glitches you can take full advantage of. You need to be perfect with sniping. We can do a demonstration on a wall. Let's see if my bullets register here. Right, see here, right here. Wait, I'm in right here, you ready? Look at that guys, I am pretty much aiming all the way down. So what you need to do is you need to time your snipes, okay? You can be very hard scopey, Like, look at that. That is dead on, yet the bullets aren't hitting. So what you guys need to do is learn to aim down a little longer. Like, as you guys can see, I probably make it look a lot easier than it is, but it's just practice, guys. It's literally down to practice. What I think you guys should do is practice in custom games. Custom games bots is honestly a lifesaver. Sometimes if there is a situation where this could be guys there, guys there and guys here, I sometimes have my crosshair like in between all three. So it's the shortest path to go from here to there, here to there, here to there. Like it's the quickest path I can take. As you guys can see, even my crosshairs when I'm up here, like this is what I'm doing, I'm always predicting the next head glitch. I'm always predicting like I know an enemy will be there. I know my map surroundings. I know there's a head glitch there. The next thing about sniping is do not be afraid to hard scope. If there's an awkward angle and you have to hard scope, no one's going to judge you. Like that right there. Hard scope, hard scope, hard scope in a corner. Do not be afraid to hard scope. Everyone hard scopes. Sometimes you quick scope like there. I could have hard scoped and got them. If it makes a difference between getting the kill and not getting the kill, you don't be afraid to hard scope. So guys, what you need to remember is when you're sniping, do not challenge stupid things. These guys are bots, so I'm kind of obviously pushing like very dumb things like this because like these guys aren't going to hit these shots, right? But in a real game, be careful which lines of sights you take. Like, you obviously do not want to go head first into an SMG or you will die. What you want to do is take it from like a different angle. If I know there's a guy there, I want to head glitch it, if you know what I mean. Because that's going to be hard to hit. 
Like, I don't think this bot can even hit me, even if he tries, just because of the angle that he's at. You need to embrace a sniper. Take full advantage of a sniper. So, in order from top to bottom, I use the 28.2 Tiger Team Barrel. The body, I will always use Tiger Team Spotlight. You guys have no idea how good it is until you try it. The under barrel is the SFOD Speed Grip. So, for the magazine, depending on which mode you play is which magazine you should have. If you're playing Search and Destroy, you do not need a magazine. If you're to play Sniper only or like you want to go for some nice feeds, I would definitely recommend a magazine and I would take off the body attachment. For the handle, you should absolutely use Airborne Elastic Wrap. For the stock, I will always use Raider Pad. So for my secondary, I actually use another LW3 Tundra. So to unlock double Tundra or any double sniper, you need to have a friend. If you do not have a friend, make sure to drop a comment down below and I'm sure someone will want to help you or you can help them. So once you've joined your friend, make sure you are in a public lobby so you can search for different game modes. Once you're on your class, make sure you have wildcard enabled for a lawbreaker. Once you're hovered over your class, tell your friend to switch the lobby to a custom game. Once you switch to a custom game, you will see the background of your screen change. If it does change, make sure you put on a stim shot instantly and change your wild card to Lawbreaker. So once you've hovered over the sniper that you want, make sure you go to your social tab. Once you're hovered over that, tell your friend to switch back to a public lobby. Once you're on a public lobby, you will see your gun instantly changes and it will give you the option to put on the Tundra. With the LW3 Tundra, you cannot have the exact same attachment. So what I do is remove the Tiger Team Spotlight and put on the seven round magazine. So everything is the same except for the Tiger Team Spotlight and magazine are switched on both different classes. For my tactical, I will use stim shot so I can heal quickly. Lethal, I will always use a tomahawk for quick throws in case I miss a shot or if I'm in close range quarters. Field upgrade, I will always use a field mic. For the perks, I will always use flat jacket, take off second perk and put on tactical mask. No matter what happens, these two perks have to be on when you play Cold War. The amount of times I see people die to gas mines freaks me out or people that are dying to like explosions or nades. If you use these two perks, you're going to be safe the entire game. Perk 3, instead of gung-ho, believe it or not, I will use ninja. The reason I don't use gung-ho is there is actually a glitch where you can pull out your sniper faster than actual gung-ho itself. This is me shooting and switching with gung-ho. This is me shooting and switching, doing the glitch. So as you guys see, I'm already quicker by like a lot of time. So you guys definitely need to stop using Gung Ho. So as you guys can see, I do not have Gung Ho enabled. And what I can do is just triangle, double tap, triangle, triangle, double tap, triangle, triangle, double tap, triangle, triangle, double tap, triangle. So what you need to do is switch weapon. And the moment the ammunition in the bottom right corner disappears, double tap your switch weapon button and it will pull out your gun straight away. 